And to guarantee a trip to Vegas for that rematch with Dreschel, she'll need to get past the slippery summit. And that's where she fell in qualifying, through the archer steps. But this is the dangerous one. This cannonball drop, it's taking down a lot of good ones tonight. Come on, All right, here we go. Let go. Nice. Got the dish, man. Yeah, she's ready. As a background as a gymnast, needs that balance here on Razor's Edge. Nice, nice. Great right. balance. Oh, look at that. that little split. Talk about flexibility. Well, it was two years ago in Philadelphia, Rachel Goldstein exploded onto the scene with the Fantastic Four. Her, Alyssa Beard, Michelle Warnke, and Jesse Lebrecht, the first four women to qualify for a city finals. And Matt, I like what she's doing here, generating some big swings to get up to that second ring. She's got it. Goldstein's 5'4", 115 pounds. You mentioned she grew up as a gymnast, then was a diver at Ithaca College. You know, she missed out on Vegas last year. She's working hard to get back there this season. The top two women will advance. Only Jesse Graff has yet to run. It's that middle ring locked in now. Got to get up to the smaller one. Nice. Grab it right there. Don't seem very smart in the way she moved across this obstacle. I'm going for the dismount. Got it. Just like that. So now. Summit. Remember, this is where she fell in qualifying on the way up at just 5'4. Does not have long arms. Well, that's it. She knows it's eight. Oh my goodness. goodness. Four moves. Yes. Wow. Yeah, I like that. That is the Power. best we've seen anyone do it. That's balling. Never made it past the fifth obstacle before. Oh my God. This is a bigger cleat here. Got to get it out. Right, nice. Okay, good. You saw the way she brought up her knees to absorb the power. She's going for the dismount. Just get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there, Rachel. Yes! Get out of there, Rachel. She has guaranteed herself a spot in the national finals. And Rachel, you go, girl. You go. Now she'll get her first ever shot at the warped wall. Just short, two more attempts. Come on, come on, Rachel. Yeah, you need a little bit more power on this 11 foot run up. Oh, Ooh, fingertips. One final attempt for Rachel Goldstein. You got this, Rachel. At this point, Rachel needs to think about all the times she ran up the wall in practice. She knows she can do this. Power, 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 power. Yeah, yeah. She's headed to the back half, but let's look at that again. Well, she had missed by inches, but watch her left hand. One-handed grab and was able to pull herself over. What a great moment for her. And now she joins an elite group. Only 12 other women have made it past the warped wall. There's Barclay Stockett. She's one of the 12. Now offering advice to Goldstein, who's got to take on the salmon ladder. She's trained on this in the gym, but this is the first time in competition. Ooh, look at her. Keeping them L's. Oh, bringing them L's back. Make oh! I see you, Rachel. Yeah, come on, get up. Get up, get up. You got this one. Come on. I see you. Yes. Reaches the top. And now can reach over and start the eighth obstacle, Crazy Clocks. She never made it past the fifth obstacle. Now she's taking on number eight. I want to see her do it. I want to see Rachel Goldstein do it. Matt, if she makes this transfer, I promise I'm going to leave this booth and run no! Oh! The arms gave out, and Goldstein splashes down, but what a run for her. She got past the slippery summit and secured her spot in Vegas, and then made it up her very first warp wall. And though she couldn't break her way through the clocks, she is going to Vegas.